thought I'd just to go over a couple of core exercises that you will often see in either our warm-ups or sometimes we superset them doing about three sets uh, in order to challenge the core a little bit more. So the first one is a cross press dead bug. So again, you can add one of these in uh, one set of these into your warm up, uh, or you can superset these two exercises into your actual uh, workout. So what you're going to do for the cross press dead bug is you're going to lie on your back and you want to make sure that you very gently press your low back close to the ground. So it's, you don't necessarily have to totally compress it down, but just make sure your spine is about neutral. And throughout this exercise, you don't want to let that um, level of your spine change. So you don't want the back to arch throughout this movement. So that's key here. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring both legs up to 90 degrees. And right away, for some of you, you may feel like your low back wants to gap a little bit. And if that's the case, you're gonna keep this exercise into a, a bent knee position. For those of you who find that you've got fairly good core control, you can extend the leg right away. So you're gonna take your right arm, a right hand, and place it on your left knee. So create a little bit of counter pressure there. So I'm actively pushing my right hand into my left knee, left knee into my hand. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend the opposite arm and leg as we go into a little exhale. That exhale helps us keep that low back from extending. So this is an anti-extension exercise. We're really working to make sure that that low back doesn't ex extend or change any position as we extend the arm and the leg. So you're going for as much range of motion as you can. Again, option here, if you're finding that this is too challenging for you, you're feeling that low back really arch, you take it to a bent knee position. We've done 10 on one side, now we switch. Left hand on right knee, reset that core brace for bonus points. You can exhale, exhale the rib cage down towards the spine as you extend. Keep that counter pressure here. So you should really feel your core light up as you're doing this movement. Uh, for bonus points, work the range of motion of that arm and leg. Really extend to get that top arm right by your ear and really work to extend that bottom leg. But again, the variation, you can go into a bent knee position. So you do 10 aside of those. Once you've done that, we're going to go into the McGill Bird Dog. Now, one uh, thing that we've been playing around with the McGill Bird Dog, a lot of people don't quite understand that when they extend their back leg, their goal should be to really recruit their bum and hamstring. So we've created this little variation. You can either do it with a sandbag or a ball, or you could even probably be creative and do it with a mat, just protecting your wall or whatever you're working against. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down on all fours, you're going to press into that ball or sandbag, whatever you have, core and nice and tight. What I'm working for here is a nice flat back and I'm actively pressing into that back ball or whatever it is and then I'm going to reach that opposite hand and I press, hold five, four, three, two, one, release just a little bit, not too far because then the ball is going to roll away and press again, one, two, three, four, five, release just a little bit, set that core back flat, extend, I'm actively pressing into this bottom hand, one, two, three, four, five, and release, and one more time, one, two, three, four, five, I set up on the opposite side, pushing that ball gently in, just making sure I've got the right position, and then I go ahead and add the arm, five, four, three, two, one. So what I'm doing here is really squeezing bum and hamstring of that back leg. I'm actively pushing into this hand. I'm actively nice strong arm at the top. And what you should feel when you do that is this whole core light up a little bit. And we do five times five seconds. So those are your exercises. You can either integrate them one set each into your warm up, or you can superset them in a combo of three to create a good core set somewhere, maybe at the uh, either the very beginning or the end of your workout. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, join me tomorrow for our 10 minute workout challenge. And for those of you who are just starting 
our four-week nutrition challenge. Good luck. It's going to be fun. Have a great day, guys.